We're hanging out here at the Olympic Oval talking to some bobsleigh Canada skeleton athletes who really have some stories that you might not expect. You just think all of us grew up in like some small town Alberta or Saskatchewan and uh, born in snow even, but it's not the case for Justin. Justin, you actually grew up in Hawaii. Yeah, I was born in Hawaii and um, I lived there on and off for 13 years and I saw snow for the first time when I was 13 when we decided to, to stay in Canada and, and go to high school there. So being in bobsleigh is a bit of an adjustment. I don't love the cold weather, but it's been eight years now since I've been sliding and I'm getting used to it. Tell me what your first, your first uh, I guess, experience with bobsleigh was. Did you see it on TV first? Did you just come out and try it? How did that work? I saw it on TV. One of my um, sort of competition uh, one of my main competition in, in BC sprinting against uh, went out for bobsleigh and he made the 2006 Olympics oh. and I watched his race. And I thought it was pretty cool but I didn't even at that point think about going out for it until a recruiter asked me to come and try it out. And uh, first time I went down the track I had absolutely no idea where I was. <laughs> I thought everybody was talking about Chrysler and Calgary and how much G-forces there are. And I found out later that I was in corner four when I thought I was in Chrysler. There's so much pressure. And then I got to the Chrysler and was just crushed to the bottom of the sled. And Lyndon Rush had to yell at me to pull the brakes because I didn't know we were finished. I had no <laughs> idea where we were. <laughs> now, when we talk about Lyndon, uh, you've obviously competed against him from time to time. Tell us a little bit about what, um, you know, knowing him and your relationship with him is like and how that's getting you to, to kind of further your career a bit. Yeah, so Lyndon was the first pilot that I competed with when I was a brakeman. And um, it was at a pretty cool point in his career because we were just transitioning from development on the European circuit. And we got moved up together onto the World Cup circuit and then competed at World Champs together. So it was pretty cool. And I've always sort of looked up to him as a driver because he's, he doesn't get stressed out and he doesn't take it too seriously. And he always performs. And I think that's what I've tried to, tried to model myself after because I'm a bit more laid back. Um, so, uh, yeah, I look at him and, and just try to emulate that a little bit. Awesome. Yeah, something tells me you don't get too stressed out about anything. Yeah, a lot of the guys on the team will, uh, will agree with you there. <laughs> I, I think you can count the times I've got mad at yelled at somebody, maybe on one hand, <laughs> not even, maybe two fingers probably. <laughs> right on. Well, I'm glad you didn't get mad at me or stressed out at me during this interview. Thanks for doing this with us today. Yeah, thank you. You bet. We're hanging out here at the Olympic Oh, That's Justin Cripps. These are all athletes that we're going to be excited to look forward to watching their Olympic dreams unfold in Sochi. We'll be back more right after.